Well, hi, Mike. <laughs> it's nice hi, to have Brian. you with us. It's, we're so excited about you coming to be our curate. So I just wanted to ask you a few things about yourself, really. So um, where, where are you from originally, Mike? I'm from Birmingham. I'm a Birmingham lad. Um, I lived most of my life in Birmingham or the black country. Um, mm -hmm. So, and apparently I've, my, all my ancestors come from Birmingham as well. Really? Uh, like generations back. Um, and most of them worked in metal work. So I've departed somewhat from the family. <laughs> wow. So what did you do before ordination training then? What did you do for a living? Um, immediately before training, I was a uh, warden of a retreat house um, in North Staffordshire. And so um, I lived in I lived in this retreat house and ran uh, short retreats where uh, guests would come and spend spend the day or spend a few days um, kind of in quiet and uh, in prayer and listening to God or just having a break and some rest. And um, that was a it was a lovely um, a lovely experience for me to be in that space. Um, to make a quiet space for people where they felt comfortable and welcome. Um, and before that, for years, I was working in the voluntary sector um, in organisations who supported charities around the country. And um, in the last few years, working with um, youth charities. Um, so I got to see a lot of brilliant work around the country, amazing uh, amazing charities, amazing young people. Um, and uh, it's always exciting to work with young people. Brilliant. They just bring a load of energy and creativity to the world. Absolutely. So your previous life is definitely going to have a bearing, hopefully, when you come and be our curate. I can imagine you've got quite a lot to bring with you. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> and certainly areas that that are, aren't my natural area. Anyone that knows me knows I'm not a very quiet, reflective type. <laughs> uh, so I think it would be really nice to, to have you come and help us to sort of be quiet and have some quiet days and time of prayer. I think that'll be, I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be really good. Okay, right, silly question now. Um, what's your favorite biscuit and why? <laughs> Um, I have to say, I don't eat as many biscuits as I used to, but uh, I think I've probably eaten more custard creams than any other biscuit. You can't go wrong with a custard cream. That's quite old school, um, custard cream. Yeah, yeah. You sh you, you, you've missed a trick though. You should have said something like Jaffa cakes or something so that all the people in the parish, if you're going around for tea, they'd buy you like your favourite biscuit. I think you, oh, you, yeah. you've set the bar a bit low there with the custard cream. Well, I'm you sure know. I can provide you with custard creams. <laughs> I am quite partial to those, um, you know, those Italian almond biscuits you get in coffee shops. Oh, yeah. And they're I like those. rock hard until you dunk them in your coffee. Yeah. And then... They're um, they're really delicious once they're once they've soaked up your coffee. When they're soggy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty Those good. So, so if parishioners are watching this, you know, if Mike comes around, custard creams are fine. But if you want to go really <laughs> posh, get get some of those Cantucci biscuits, That's Italian it. biscuits. They'll they'll suit him down to the ground. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> good choice. Um, and what would you say, Mike? What what are you most looking forward to about coming to Bulbra and Clown? Would you say? Um, well, I'm, I'm coming, I suppose, I'm coming principally to learn um, through, through my curacy. So I'm kind of, um, can I say, I'm excited about learning from you um, as my training, training priest. Um, and I'm looking forward to learning from all the people who are part of the churches and part of the parishes. Um, and yeah, learning how to be a good deacon, a good priest from everyone else, really. 
Fantastic. And I think it's a, there's an old African proverb, isn't there, about it takes a village to raise a child. But I think it's the same for for curates, is that it takes a whole a whole congregation or a whole benefice to sort of raise a curate. And so mm. I think it'll all be all our job to help you learn. And, and I'm sure we'll have loads to learn from you as well. So I think we're looking forward to, to seeing what you have to bring bring to us and help us to sort of grow closer to God as well. I think that will be really fantastic and just to sort of stay on the god topic uh, what would you say is your favorite bible passage or bible verse and why do you have one <laughs> um i think um so one of my favorites um and i think this is a verse that was kind of i felt was given to me rather than that that i picked really and um and i I kind of find out more of what it means to me as, as time goes on. But, um, and it's not one verse, this is cheating. It's several verses from Psalm 27, but it's the verses that say, um, one thing I've asked of the Lord, this is what I seek. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. And um, so that, there's, I love I love that phrase to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and that um, you kind of um, you look at God and find more and more beauty in in learning more of God and I like that there's the kind of um, contemplative quiet private aspect of it of kind of spending time with God and seeking God but then there's also um, if we seek God in God's temple, where is God's temple? Um, as Christians, we're told that um, we are God's temple. And so part of it is, is seeking God in fellowship, in other people, in, in the community. Um, and, and so I feel that's, that's what it's telling me, you know, go and seek out God um, wherever in, in, whoever you meet and whoever you're working with. So I find that helpful for um, steering my view of ministry as well. I love that. I love that. I don't think I've ever, you know, often people have picked pick the same old, same old sort of verses, but it's really nice. I've never heard anyone choose those verses from Psalm 27 before, but we, we certainly like to read the Psalms a lot. And I, I certainly have found particularly um, in the last year or so of lockdown that the Psalms are kind of, where I turn to for mm. prayer and that have been encouraging our congregations to turn to the Psalms as well, because they're just so rich, aren't they? And, mm. and they kind of, they change their meaning the more you read them as well. And it's interesting how, if you have your own special verse and I would recommend people to kind of think, you know, what is your favorite Bible verse and why, and, and, and maybe kind of meditate on it. And if you haven't got one, maybe ask, ask someone to give you one. Um, yeah. that will then be a companion verse for you through your life. So Thank you for sharing that. That's really good. Well, just to let everybody know, Mike's going to be ordained deacon on the 27th of June, God willing, um, at Derby Cathedral. Um, so there'll be a special service there. We don't know yet quite what the rules will be like by the time we get to that date. Um, but then from that date, Mike will be working with us as a curate probably for about three years. Um, and he'll be living in the benefice. Um, they're currently looking for a property to rent for him. Uh, in the area so he'll be living in the local area and you come you come to us with with um with a dog don't you with a dog yeah she's just wandered off so I can't um <laughs> can't hold her up the appearance. screen yeah <laughs> <laughs> but she's, yeah, she's uh, very friendly and and full of energy likes making friends so lovely well I'm, we've got Good. lots of dog lovers in our congregations so I'm sure you'll make lots of friends very quickly if you've got a dog so uh really looking forward to having you come come and be with us Mike and we'll see you really soon. looking forward to coming and making my home in uh, Barbara and Clown thank you